Vitor Belfort, you always wanted to, to, to fight in a soccer stadium one day, and it's finally happened here in Brazil. Uh, what, what, what was your reaction when, when the UFC called you and offered you a fight here in Curitiba in a, in a soccer stadium? You know, I, I have a saying that A, I do the ABC backward. I do the CBA. Everything you can see, you know, see, see of course, you can see your mind, you believe in your heart, and achieve it yourself. So it's something that I already saw before. It's just not, ha not happened. So I'm not surprised. I'm just, I was confident that, that in Brazil here we have the capacity to, to, to be in the soccer stadium. So I was, think it was the right time, the right season. So time for every season. So you just got to be willing, when you, accepting when it comes. And that's normal for me. Do you think that, that finally shows that, that, that UFC and MMA came to that point that you, you predicted it would be one day? You gotta remember, you know, UFC, MMA, without the stars, without the people that, that, that the people that really want to see it, you know, the athletes, you know, you see the car that UFC put it, you know, I think it's just the people that is involved in, in these fights, and, and that's what makes unique. UFC has done a lot for 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 the sport. They investing a lot of money in in, in, in lawyers and and approving and all this, but this is all good. I, I understand that that. You have to put a lot of money on this, this subject, but the fighters are, 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 the, are the final, like the master, you know, that 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 the final tune. That that's what it's all about. And I think now it's time for athletes to have that kind of value. People wants to see this kind of athletes, and I think that's that's what it is about. Unique in sports, you know, you go to see basketball, you go to see the athletes play, you know, it's a great show, it's beautiful, but, and I think that's where we are going right now, you know, to that, that place where the athletes has to be w w the infrastructure for them, you know, and I think we, we have to still a lot of change to be accomplished in that area, especially now, the way it's built the sport, you know, we investing, I'm investing a lot of money, I lost a lot of money with sponsors. So I think it's time for us to come to a conclusion there, and I believe the UFC will come with that conclusion that we need to to become like an ATP, not like NBA type of style. And even NBA, they have one they can play with the shoe. And right now we cannot wear anything. We don't have any any type of a, a sponsor, uh, one, one property, not even one property. So I believe in the future we're going to be more like a like an ATP type of thing because the the players they invest in themselves. They need money. They need resource. A, a, a event like UFC and any type of event in TV, they need sponsors. They need people to to invest and help them to build. You know, I value high top professionals. So, and I cannot use in the money that I fight to invest. A guy like me, 20 years doing this, I want to leave the sport, seeing that the organization would would do something to create this thing that, that the fighters can understand, the fighters have to understand, they come to their conclusion because we, we have to invest, we invest in ourselves, but we need the, the right infrastructure for, for we can establish the sports. The UFC deal with Rubox has been there for, for a while now. How, how did that affect your, your, your life and how much money you make for fights and all that? I lost a lot of money, you know. I'm 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 not happy. Not not, not that with the deal that they made with UFC. You know, it was it wasn't the fault of Reebok. You know, I believe the, the the Reebok can still have their deal with the UFC, but we need to have a platform. You know, maybe we cannot use in a, like an apparel. We cannot have an apparel, but I can have my bank. I can have a, a phone company. I can have, uh, you know, like an energy not the energy drink. You know, sponsor me. You know, we we see that all the time on the in this. This major sport, like a like a extreme sport, the, the, even if, if if a monster doing an event, the guy who who is sponsored by Red Bull, he still can wear his Red Bull. You know what I mean? So I, we we individual sport. You know, we we're not a team. You know, even though they have some teams, even the owners of team today, they they they're losing money. They cannot even promoting their team to sell their their merchandise. So I, I think it's just it's, it's a time for. We understand that the final art, that the most important, you know, object of this business is not all this approving your, you know, it's great. It's great to have all these lawyers and, and, and businessmen and, 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 and CEOs and, and it's great. We need that. We need that. I'm not, I'm not against that. 
but we need to to have the right infrastructure for the people that that, that, that protagonize the show. They're, they're, they're the they're the the, they're the show. That's the end of the show. So, and and most of them, they're not happy because, and even though that Reebok and Monster, they they can only sponsor I think 11, 11 athletes, and and even I know some people said that UFC helped them pick which one, you know, so it, that's not fair. That's if if this is this is what's that's not fair with with a guy like me. I'm doing this 20 years. I lost millions of of of, of dollars with this type of deals because. I'm doing this for for a long time, and I have a great image. You know, big, big, big companies they want to be with me, but they, they cannot. You know, so it's it's not right, and I think it's it's time to change. And I'm staying. You know, I, I I'm very thankful for the organization, but in in that in that set, set of uh, infrastructure, they're wrong. It's wrong what they're doing, and it's not right. I'm not happy. And not just me, but I think most of the fighters they understand that. And and I think it's, they're gonna change. They're gonna they're gonna find like the ATP model, and and I think they they're gonna they smart businessmen. They, they they're gonna see. They say, man, man, we we gotta find something to make them happy. You know, they're not happy. And by the way, like when a fighter like Rafael dos Anjos was preparing and he got hurt, he invests a lot of money on his camp, and who paid for, for his expenses? He couldn't have a sponsor. He wasn't a sponsor by a major company like Reebok or Monster, so. He has to pay out of his pocket, and, and who's going to reimburse him? Nobody. So that's why in sports and teams, they have sponsors. That's why in soccer and in, in NFL and, and everybody, we have the sponsors that in, they invest and help to pay the daily expenses. So I think it's not right for me as a, as a professional athlete. I have to get paid only when I fight, but I don't have monthly payment. All these, these people that work for the office of UFC, I, I'm in the office every day. I'm training. I'm preparing. So I, I'm I'm kind of I'm, I'm a businessman, you know, of UFC. I have a, I have individuals. So I need to get paid monthly. They they should at least say, Victor, I'm gonna help you every month with that kind of money. A guy like you, you gotta make this kind of money a month because the CEO, you know, people that work for UFC, they got pay every every month, you know. So I'm I'm in the gym every month training. So at least if they cannot pay me, you know, at least I have to have my sponsors and and and, and make a living, you know. Because that's why we see a lot of athletes when they end up fighting and they end up playing, they become broke. They stop making their money because they spend their money. So I invest a lot, and I think just it's just time for for us to come to a change and and and, and our understanding that what what we need, you know, let's hear us, you know, and I, and I and I believe that we can come to a conclusion that what is it's it's a win-win situation. Right now, it's it's very bad for us. There are a lot of fighters that are, are are fighting out of their their contracts and exploring the free agency. Do you do you see that as as a possibility since you are losing a lot of money with this? I'm against that. I'm against. I need. I don't need to run away. I I, I believe in the organization. I'm like so, when Socrates in a long time ago they condemned that guy to death. They they offer him exile. Say, oh, we're gonna you, you, we're gonna have a place for you. Say, no, no, no. I'm staying here. If they want me to die, I'm gonna have to die. So. I'm staying with UFC. You know, I want to stay with them. You know, I, I don't want to go anywhere, but I want. I, they're not doing right, so I, I have to be a voice, and, and I don't need to run away. You know, like when my son, when my wife, we don't agree in something, she's not gonna divorce me. Hey, I, I, you, you don't do what I do, so I'm gonna look for another man. That's not the way of solution. That's being a coward. You know, I understand that they they need to live. You know, it's good for them. I, I, I applaud them. They, they're looking for what's best for them. I, I understand. That's the business. The more opportunity you have, the more money you'll be able to. That, that's negotiation power. You know, if you have if you have only a monopoly, if you have only one, you, you cannot negotiate. So right now they have other places to negotiate, and they look for a better contract. I understand that. They, that that's that the free will. Nobody. I don't want nobody to to work for me. You know, if they don't want to work for me, you are free will. I'm the type of guy. I own a lot of business. You only work for me if you want it. If you just work for me because you want to make money, don't come work for me. Don't come and, and do something for me. I don't want to hire any trainer that just want to work for the money. I, I would rather have someone that has less experience but has more will. So now we're talking about, Victor, a lot of guys are going to, that's, I, I don't think that's the solution. The solution is to stay in UFC and say, hey, guys, you guys, hear us out. I want to be a voice. I want to see, let's change what is wrong to adapt to a better future. So we can be happy too, you know, because it's good for them. You know, everybody, every 
uh, CEO, all these guys, these executives, they're making money every month. They bring in milk, they bring in their needs and, and the things that they 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 live by. You know, I cannot pay, I cannot pay my my electricity with my image. You know, so I need to make money monthly. I, I gotta have. I I don't want to just spend my money that I make it just paying, investing in myself. I think that's wrong. So I don't need to run away. I can stay and, and just fight for what's right, what what I need. You know. Let's come to a conclusion. I believe that if we can get together and just find what is right for us, that's the solution that I see. And talk about the, the, the fight coming up. Uh, you're, you're coming off a big win. And after that, that fight, the champion Luke Rockhold uh, called you out. Uh, you, you, you always seem, seem to be in that, in that position that maybe one or, or two wins away from a, from a title shot. And you think, again, this is the case. If you win, Jacare, you're, you're the next I line? I know that's the case. I don't think I know that's the case. You know, you, your, your organization cannot don't have other option. That's the only option. You know, when you if someone give you something, I always say if someone give you something, they can take it away. But when you earn something, no one can take from you. That's the thing in life. I teach my kids all the time. I say, if I give you something, I can take it away. But if you earn, it's yours. It's yours. So I've been earning my spot. Nobody give me. Nobody give me. Oh, Victor, here's your title fight. Go fight. No, 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 no. I earn my spots. I earn the things that I did in the octagon. Nobody give me. So I think that, that that's the way of living, and I think that's that's the way of life. And we see today happen in in, 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 in every area, you know, in in music injuries, in 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 in, in technology, you know, people are earning. And I think that that's the way of living. How do you do you foresee your 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 fight going up? I see a great a victory, you know, that's going to be a way of victory. It's going to be training hard, preparing, and fight happy, you know, and looking for looking for the the openings that will be there and have patience and, and the time will come. This is a, uh, a big fight for you, but it wasn't the or original plans according to, to sources and Giovanni Decker even mentioned it, that they, they were working a possibility of doing you against Anderson Silva in March in an event that was planned for Curitiba or maybe Rio. Uh, why did that fight didn't didn't happen? I don't know. That's a good question. You know, it's easy. You know, the UFC can do anything they want. They have the power to do anything they want. So it's a fight that it's it's just depending on on their will. You know, I mean, we we didn't say no. You know, we 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 up to negotiating any fight. You know, I think it's it's time for us to to stand up and and I have a team that negotiate for me and people that make decisions. So I think it's. You know, when you're willing to do something, you can do it. You know, UFC has that power. So the time will come when the big fights will come. But I think that's the fight that, that they, they, they did. You know, that's, that's the fight that has happened. And, and, and I'm very excited, very happy. Do you want to, to have a chance to, to avenge that, that, that loss again? I don't look for revenge or nothing. You know, I, I think it's, it's every, everything that's happened in the past is in the past. I'm looking what's the best, the best deal in the front of me, what's the best move you know uh, yeah, i'm in business you know that, that's a show business that's that's not nothing personal you, you cannot have personal things because at the end of the day it's it's a show it, it's a it's, it's about a legacy that you live but it's a business you know what's the best for the company you know and, and we have vitor belfort is a, is a company it's a we have the the capability to to make the right calls and, and that's that's about having a team you know What's the best for for Vito Belfort, and, and that's I have a great team that that look for the best, and I'm very excited. What's next? And here we go, May 14. You know, I'm fighting the toughest guy in the, in the division, and, and I think that's the fight that is in front of me, and that's that's a great challenge.